Hey guys, we're here at the World Harvest Embassy today, and I'm just so happy to say that for the last few weeks, the Bible video lessons that we've recorded, you've been watching, we've got a lot of questions and comments, and what I can say for sure, we're going to answer all your questions. Here at the World Harvest Embassy, during the summer, we had many events, a lot of events. And uh, as you probably remember, the first one was when we went to the Smoky Mountains to see the fireflies. It was the fireflies event. So I have a very dear friend with me today, Sherry Donahue. Sherry and her husband, Tim, they pastors of the Church of Restoration. And they're the ones that actually organize and put together this event. And the turnout was wonderful. I think we had a great time. We did. Mm -hmm. And uh, But uh, what we're going to be doing today, as you probably remember, last week I was teaching, I was sharing about prayer. And prayer is such a huge subject. So what I did, I asked Sherry to continue, and she will be teaching you about the prayer. A few weeks ago, Alexei received a letter from a student with the question, how can I pray effectively to get God's attention and to receive what I am asking for? Let us look at the first part of this excellent question, how can I pray effectively to get God's attention? The Bible teaches that there is a proper way to approach God. In the book of Psalms, chapter 66, verse 18, it says, if I had cherished sin in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. Approaching God with sin in our hearts is like coming to him unclean and unprepared. For example, a person who is in love would not ignore their appearance when planning to meet their loved one. Instead, they would take time to shower and put on clean clothes because they want to present their very best appearance. God is not looking to see whether or not our bodies or clothes are clean, but he is looking to see if we have clean and prepared hearts. One of the easiest ways to get our hearts dirty is to hold unforgiveness against another person. Jesus said in Mark chapter 11, verse 25, and when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins. So how do we get our hearts clean? It is so easy. The Bible tells us in 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. God is our Heavenly Father, and He loves it when His children are honest about what they have done wrong. I remember when my children would come to me and ask for forgiveness for something they had done wrong, and afterwards it made me want to do whatever they asked of me. And God is the same way with his children. In the book of 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 12, it says, For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are attentive to their prayer. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. Now let us look at the last part of the student's question, which was, how do I pray effectively to receive what I'm asking for? In Matthew chapter 21, verse 22, Jesus said, if you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. The best way to believe is to know that you're asking for the very thing that God desires to give you. One of the greatest promises in the Bible is in 1 John chapter 5, verses 14 and 15. And it says, This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. And if we know that He hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we ask of Him. We must have clean and believing hearts as we approach our Heavenly Father in prayer. And as we come to him, Jesus is the only way to enter into his throne room. Like Alexi said last week, just as a password that's required to connect to the internet, in the same way, we must use the all-powerful name of Jesus to connect with our Heavenly Father. I would like to invite you to spend some time preparing your heart 
by confessing any known sin. Seek to know what God desires to give you and then ask Him for it in Jesus' name, knowing that you will receive your request.